Okay, so we're going to use linear approximations to estimate sine of 3. Um, okay, so remember the first thing we do is we make up a function. Uh, our function is uh, obviously looking at what we're looking for. It would have to be sine of x. And uh, we go, okay, well, what point do we use? What, what point are we actually going to find the tangent line at? And so um, we ask ourselves, well, what point do we know the sine of that's near three. Well, if you think about it for 2.5 seconds, you would probably come up with uh, pi, right? Because pi is uh, 3.14, and uh, we can find the sine of it very easily. Okay, so um, then uh, we uh, find the tangent line, so we need to find the derivative, which is uh, derivative of sine is cosine Okay, so then the slope is the derivative at pi, which is cosine of pi, which is just negative 1. Okay, so then to find the y-intercept, we have y equals mx plus b. Um, and so we have the slope, which is negative 1. Um, the x value, which is pi and then the y value we find remember by plugging our point pi inside of uh, sine so this is going to be sine of pi which is zero so then we get a value for b of um, simply uh, pi so our tangent line is going to be y is equal to negative one x plus pi Okay, so this is the uh, linearization of uh, sine of x at x equals to pi. So that's great. Okay, so now um, we can uh, find, uh, we can approximate sine of 3. Sine of 3 is approximately equal to plugging 3 inside of the tangent line. So it would be minus 3 plus pi. Well, this one, we don't even need a calculator for this one. Um, pi, let's just say it's 3.1416. Let's just round it to four decimal places. And so um, this would simply equal to negative three plus, that is just 0.1416. So that's our approximation. So when we're looking for the error, so um, the error, is equal to the absolute value of the actual, which is 0.1411 minus the approximation, which is 0.1416. Well, this is just equal to 0 0.0005. And then the percent error is simply equal to that error, 0 0.0005 over the actual which is 0 0.1411 times 100 giving us 0.3544 percent point and uh, that's it